everyone, it's Nina. Thank you for joining me today for another tutorial, and I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to be featuring a DIY glitter paste technique. What I love about this technique is that it's a great way to not only stretch your supplies like your stencils and inks, but it's a great way to use those glitters that we might have laying around, and the end result gives you a beautiful glitter finish that does not rub off. So I'm taking a Simon Says Stamp stencil here, this is the Carolyn stencil, and I'm taping it down with purple tape from Thermoweb onto a hardboard from Art Impressions just to make sure it stays in place. I started off by using some Distress inks, and I'm going to ink blend these three colors, which are Tattered Rose, Broken China, and Chip Sapphire, onto the paper that is covered with the stencil. The paper I'm using is some Strathmore Bristol paper because it blends really well with Distress inks and other types of inks that you may have. So I'm going to carefully work this paper until I've blended these three colors across the entire background, creating a beautiful blend of color. On another hardboard, I'm going to take some texture paste. This is transparent gloss texture paste from Tim Holtz and Ranger. I'm also using some WOW glitter and I'm mixing that into the paste and that's creating your own DIY paste. I've also got a little bit of blue ink on here which I'll mix in as well just to tint it a little bit. And then I'll blend this across my stencil. Now you'll notice I did not remove the stencil from the ink blended panel that I had already created. I left it in place because I wanted to go back over that ink blending with the paste. The ink blending is adding color through this paste because it's transparent. If you used an opaque paste, it would not be transparent. But because it is, you get that beautiful glitter effect on top of the ink blending and then the result is just stunning. I'll show you some still pictures of how I use this particular panel here with some dyes from Birch Press and I really love the beautiful glittery finish on this card. Now here are some other examples of using this technique using a variety of different glitters on top of other backgrounds. So here I use some blue glitter on top of this purple background and a neat and tangled stencil. The result is just beautiful. Here I used more of a warm platinum color and then here I used a rainbow glitter on top of some yellow paper. And you can see that the results are literally limitless. You can do almost anything with these custom pastes. The fun thing is, is that you can also color the paste too if you wanted to. Instead of putting it over top of a colored background, you could actually put some ink into this paste and have your own colored paste and then add glitter to it as well. For all these examples, I just put some glitter into the paste because I liked the translucent appearance through the color that I'm adding the paste onto, but there's a variety of different ways that you could do this. Here's another example of how I'm putting this over top of this beautiful watercolor background making sure I don't put too thick of a coating of this paste on top of here, A, because I don't want to waste it, but B, if I put a really thick coating on here, it would not dry very quickly. So I'll set that side to dry. Here's another example of some pink glitter into the paste, and I'll mix that together. It's a very simple process of mixing these pastes together, and you can use as much glitter as you want or as little as you'd like. If you use less glitter, of course, you're not going to have quite as glittery of a paste, but the more glitter you add, the more that you'll have that beautiful glittery finish. No matter how much glitter you add to this paste, it will hold all of that glitter. I have not had any trouble with the glitter falling off afterwards, and the end results are just absolutely beautiful. You can see that this technique adds so much dimension and shine to your projects. It's a great way to really make a statement. I used some memory box and birch press designs dies to create these fi finished cards and I really love how they turned out. If you want to know more information on the exact products that I used on the finished cards, be sure to head on over to my blog as I have that all listed out for you there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this video and technique was inspiring. If you enjoy, here are two more on screen that you might like and I will be back again very soon with more inspiration for you. Thanks for watching.